In this video, I'm going to share from a scientific perspective a simple explanation as to why it really is true that on a deep level we are all one. Because in order for us to evolve both as individuals and as a collective, we must remember our oneness. Astronaut Edgar Mitchell was the sixth man to walk on the moon, and he had a powerful spiritual experience while he was in outer space. He described looking down at the pale blue gem of Earth from thousands of miles out in space and instantly developing what he called a global consciousness. He said, I experienced an ecstasy of unity. I not only saw the interconnectedness, I felt and experienced it sentiently. Since that time, numerous other astronauts have described this transformative experience of looking down at Earth from space, and it's actually now known as the astronaut overview effect, which is defined as a shift in perspective where the unity of all of mankind becomes immediately apparent. But it seems that humanity has forgotten this ancient and fundamental truth of oneness. I mean, looking around the planet today, in many ways we're more divided and more polarized than ever before. Could it be that the ancient mystical teaching of oneness and unity is exactly what we need in this world to heal and evolve and awaken to higher consciousness? Personally, I do believe so. All over the world and all throughout history, the most brilliant minds of humankind have told us that oneness is the fundamental truth of life and this existence. Albert Einstein himself said that the greatest tragedy of human existence is the illusion of separateness. And all of the most famous spiritual visionaries from Buddha to Jesus have taught this as well, that at the very core of our being, the essence of our being is one with the infinite, with the highest divine reality. Now the oneness of all things is not just some nice idea that we need to believe in. This is actually a scientific fact that's been proven and demonstrated. The Big Bang Theory tells us that if we wind back the clock about 13.8 billion years ago, the entire universe all began as one. We've all emerged out of the same infinite source. I mean, that is oneness right there. And it's astonishing to think about how the infinite cosmic forces of creation that created the galaxies and the planets and the stars are within each one of us as well. You may have heard this idea that we are made of stardust, which is true, but even more fundamental than that, we are made of source energy. We are source energy beings. Now quantum theory adds a whole new layer to this discussion as well because quantum physics has demonstrated that when we look on a subatomic level, all of this world of matter and material, the material universe, emerges out of energy. That everything is an expression of an underlying field of energy and potential. The idea of separateness breaks down. In the Tao of Physics, it's stated that quantum theory forces us to see the universe not as a collection of physical objects, but rather as a complicated web of relations between the various parts of a unified whole. I want to invite you to really let this sink in and feel this truth, feel this knowledge that what I am, what we are in our core is unified with the earth and with the cosmos and with all of creation. Although it seems on the surface level that we are separate and distinct, on a deeper level, we're all like waves in the infinite ocean of life, this infinite source energy field of life. And this is really an appropriate metaphor because if you look at waves on the surface of the ocean, you can see that there is separateness between the waves. Two waves are separate and distinct. However, on a deeper level, if you look beneath the surface, there's unity, there's oneness. They emerge out of the same unified whole, the same greater reality. And this metaphor applies exactly to you and I as waves on the surface of this ocean of life. We all share the same essence. We're all made of star stuff. We're all made 
of this same fabric of life, right? And so while on a surface level it is true that yes, we are separate and distinct, we celebrate the beauty of diversity and multiplicity while also recognizing on a deeper level, on a true self or consciousness or soul or spirit level, we are one, we are unified. And this is the ancient spiritual teaching of true self, of true divine nature, that beyond our limited surface human identity, the life force, the consciousness, the essence within each one of us is a direct expression of the highest transcendent reality, that infinite source energy. And it's interesting to note that coming back to science and quantum physics, there is this idea of non-local consciousness that in order to truly understand how quantum physics works and operates, we have to understand that consciousness isn't created by the physical or material brain. It's non-local. It is fundamental to life and existence. It's outside of space and time. This is a radical shift in perspective. This is an expansion of consciousness. And this is really the key point to this whole thing is that as our minds open to this expanded awareness of oneness, so too do our hearts open. We begin to feel more compassion, more love, more kindness, more cooperation. And this is how we can co-create a better and brighter future for humanity. World peace begins within each one of us and it all starts with honoring and celebrating our oneness. Thank you so much as always for joining me here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video, please check me out on Patreon where you can help me to create videos just like this one. Thank you so much, I appreciate you all and I'll see you back here very soon.